Oh, hopefully that's me live now. Uh, yeah, sorry if something went a bit weird there. <laughs> anyway, um, happy Sunday. I hope you'll have had an awesome week. I'm dying with a hay fever, so nobody take a look at my right eye. You look, didn't you? Don't look at my right eye. Uh, yeah, sorry if that stream started early or something. Don't know what's going on there. <laughs> Um, but yeah, let's just dive into the chat. Well, before, let me tell you what we're doing today. We are doing the Needle Felted Dash Hound Dog from the Maker's Monthly Kit. There's three dogs in this kit. I might be able to get one done and then we'll do, I'll make the bodies offline and we'll do the other two in another session. We'll see how long everything takes. We might just manage a body today, who knows. But I have the kit here. Um... Yeah, <laughs> so that's that's what we be doing today. And see if I can get get a little picture of just how cute these little dogs are. If you haven't been, there's links in the description to this video for the Maker's Monthly Subscription Boxes if you're interested in them. Let's see who we've got here. Uh, the candle link um, in here. Yay! <laughs> Diane, hoping to see this soon. Yep, hopefully that's me now. Um, Alicia, hello there. Lisa, hi to all the early birds. I know, it's great seeing you in before I get there. But it does mean when I mess up, then you've just got like two minutes of me staring at the camera. Southpaw, hello there. Uh, Alicia's finishing off your fairy from earlier. Awesome. Uh, the Makers, hello there. Um, oh, chat jumped again. Faith, hi, good to see you. Southport, is there sound right now? Hopefully there is sound now. I think something had happened. The YouTube have changed how they display things, so I wasn't sure if I was live. So, yeah, there was sound. I just wasn't speaking. <laughs> Diane waiting. Hey there. Um, and the maker saying to Emma, there'll be others watching too. Yeah, it seems like we already had quite a few waiting before I even started, which is awesome. And like five likes before I even started. Thank you so much. Uh, you you don't know if it was going to be any good yet, but that's awesome. <laughs> uh, everyone saying hello to everyone, which is cool. Donna's finished the fairy. Need to iron a pair of wings. Awesome. Erica, hello there. Uh, Steffi, hey there. Um... <laughs> Yeah, hay fever is a pain. Thank you. It's usually okay. And oh, I can't trade it. It just before I came online, it just started pelting it down with rain outside, and I was like, that is so unfair. I, you know, as the weather's got rubbish, my hay fever's got worse as well. <laughs> um, Erica, I'm so sad you have to have a credit card for the monthly boxes. Oh, it's yeah. Um, but you can. I can't remember how you can buy stuff online. Um, I set it up ages ago. Um, yeah, but hopefully the makers will hear you. But I will say, knowing from other companies I work with, as a buyer, I love PayPal because it means I don't have to get up and find my credit card or my debit card. I can just log into PayPal. But being on the other side, on the customer support side, PayPal's not good. <laughs> I'm still going to constantly use it, but but yeah, the the most complaints we get about things is PayPal pal messing things up. They are a pain. Um, Alicia, it gave you an ad before I would start. It's weird. Um, yeah, that's that's a YouTube thing. But the good news is, so thank you. Um, the good news is, for those of you who don't know, that's something that YouTube does. It shares the ad money with the creators once you get to a level where you're monetized. Um, so I don't have much control over whether they decide to show an ad. But if they show an ad, it means I'm getting a little teeny bit of money it'll be like about a penny for watching the ad but thank you very much anyway um so yeah if i know i try and not we get an option to say you can have an ad before or an ad well you have to have an ad before but they don't always show it you can choose to have an ad after or you can choose to have ads during a video i don't i try not put any ads during the video because that's so annoying like you've got a 10 minute video let's have six ads um but youtube right if you don't like watching ads the more you skip an ad the less youtube will show you ads <laughs> basically but be aware if ads are showing before a video 
um, and you like the creator it's just a little way that the creator gets a little little more money that's that's how we get paid for doing stuff on here <laughs> um, basically so yeah it's 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 how YouTube does things um, oh Steffi you your hay fever gets worse with the rain it's always you think it's the pollen getting pushed down yeah it really could be yep uh, Alex hi there looking forward to this I know me too doing dogs just now <laughs> um oh yeah um the maker saying they do accept paypal for sub boxes cool i couldn't remember um oh no they're fighting with each other do we no we no longer take paypal as people can't skip boxes then yeah paypal is really difficult to be able to you can't just turn on and off things it's difficult to change cards it's paypal's a pig but as, as a consumer I, I know it's so much easier because you don't have to get up from the computer you can just hit pay <laughs> um, um, Alicia oh you'll always watch the ads for me <laughs> thank you so much I mean it's for, for little creators it's not a massive amount but it can be you know it's, pre it's pretty nice it makes it it makes it makes an incentive you'll see a lot of youtubers you know to grow on youtube you have to make lots of videos and it is actually hard work i enjoy i enjoy my sundays that's cool um but that does take a lot of energy um as the makers will say <laughs> as well you know th there's a lot of nervous energy there um but for actually recorded videos there's a lot going on that until you start making videos you don't know about so it's a little incentive that helps creators keep on creating and keep on making content um not just for me but for for any out there so yeah it's i i always think it's much nicer than tv um on tv that ad money's going to big people with big pockets on youtube i think it's 60 percent of the ad money comes to the creator so that's actually pretty cool um uh, Steffi saying we do three months of one purchase which you can do by PayPal and uh, send the boxes out every month and they accept debit cards cool 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 right right here let's let's pop down here and look at the box um, again I took away the brilliant the beautiful red wrapping that's on these so you can't see my address and come and nick my spoons but here is my awesome box and i do believe there's little extra goodies in here because the makers are so lovely so that's the invoice you don't need to see my invoices um so the makers very kindly offered to send me their three felting needle and some of the very fine twisted needles so thank you so much i love twisted needles i do have one of these Yes, this one's a twist as well. I can't remember what gauge. I will say, like, I was, I was dubious when when you said about using a three needle tool for felting three D shapes, but this is really fine. I will. Ooh, I can't see where my other felting needle is. Oh, here it is. But yes, I've got a three needle tool from elsewhere, and and that's a chunky boy. That that was like you can't felt. 3D shapes with that, but this looks nice and dainty. Ooh. Sorry, felting needle was off rolling away. Yeah, this looks nice and dainty. Let's you go out of the way just now. Let's have a look at this first of all. And it's got a lid, which is cool. That's nice. I probably will have to change out the needles. It might be stabby for me, so thank you for the needles. Um, I'll give it a try. Oh. Has it got has it got needle storage or something in there? Or is it just gonna rattle at me? Oh no, it's I will have to read up on all of this. I suppose that's just a little stopper to Oh, have I broke it already? <laughs> that would be so like me. Um but yeah, it's got a little disc of metal. I assume that sits on there and holds that in place. Ooh. Um and you just change the needles from here. That's cool. Right, what I will do right i will try and put it back hang on Sh shall we be the the person that reads things that would be cool um that doesn't 
didn't really say anything about this little bit of metal so they feel pretty snug in there I'm concentrating you can tell when it goes quiet <laughs> Steffi, I've got a warning already Steffi saying the little disc stops the needles from pushing back don't lose it <laughs> I've not lost it right I'm gonna have before we get on to anything else I just want to try this to see if it's too stabby and if it is I can change it because I know those are much finer needles oh yeah yep yeah, yep yeah, yep yeah. right away that's that's <laughs> what's in there is too stabby for a little old me right so we'll take these three out Oh, that one doesn't want to come off. Come on. There we go. Three needles removed. And so I don't stab myself. I will put them away in there. Oops. And we'll dive in with these three needles instead. Oh, that's a tight fit there. <laughs> that's why it was hard to get out as well. That one doesn't want to come out the hole it's supposed to come out. Don't tell me I've messed it up already. Did, oh, did I put them out the wrong hole? Have I twisted them inside? <laughs> I think I how did I do that? <laughs> okay, that's the top. Yeah, it's coming out the wrong hole. <laughs> you didn't tell me this was like a puzzle for me to sort out as well. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> They're coming out of the wrong hole than they should do. That's why that one was tight. <laughs> I might have <laughs> I might have to actually take this off <laughs> off camera and figure out how to use it by myself because I'm an idiot. Well, that honest review, right? Don't don't give stuff to Pam <laughs> just straight away because if there's a way to break it, she will break it. So that's why that one was tight because <laughs> it's come out of a wrong hole. <laughs> oh boy! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Right, so I might need to find because I've only got my chunky boy scissors here to try and get into that gap. <laughs> Oh, that is so typical me. It's like, bam, you've had it a minute and you've literally broke it. <laughs> oh, and I was looking forward to using this. Okay, great. So. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, I'm not going to get that off just now with the kit that I've got here. And I don't want to do this and then risk. Let's see if I can get them just to go into different holes. Just now. Well, no, that sounds... They would damage themselves. Right. Okay, so... <laughs> okay, so thank you, <laughs> ladies, but... Is it, oh, this is going to annoy me now. I want to get it out. But I, don't, I know that I will slip the scissors or break the needle or something. Right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, trust me, I had it a minute. And it do it looks so cool because it's nice and fine, but the needles that come with it were too stabby for me. So really appreciate the makers sent me finer ones. I am just an idiot <laughs> and I didn't realise that they all were in the same hole. Is that working out a little bit? Come on. Everyone get ready to let out a big cheer if I manage to do this. <laughs> it seems to be getting looser. Come on. What did you do with your Sunday? I watched Pam try and mess up the simplest of gadgets. And then she cut her hand open and we had to call an ambulance live on, <laughs> live on air. Come on, little guy. I'm not sure if I could just run it with two needles because they're twisted inside so I don't want to risk oh no it's she's she's coming everyone get ready to to cheer come on <laughs> oh wow only me and yes I can oh right come along 
it, it, it's working out slowly <laughs> I'm just not one to break anything and I could I will obviously when I'm downstairs I have all my other oh she's coming she's coming I could have t pliers or any other tools right okay so that's the top hole come out of the top <laughs> okay so warning to that's not the top right you behave yourself okay so you're on that hole this needle just does not want to behave. You? That's not the right hole! <laughs> right, if you want to come... No, 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 stop be. Right, I put it in the bottom hole there. And so I want it to come out of the bottom hole here. And no, it's coming out the side hole. So we'll try the side hole. It hates me. Come on. No, and it's coming out the other side hole. They're wanting to twist round on themselves. Right, if I, so if I put you in the bottom, where do you want to come out? You <laughs> so that's in the bottom, it goes to that side, which I means I don't think the third one would want to go in if I did it that way. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake! Right, you're the right hand one. You, look, you want to come out this hole? Listen to me. No, that's not right. That's not the right hole. <laughs> oh, this is crazy. Shall we? Right, let's try and see if I can get two of them in. They're not going to be in the right holes. They are. They're determined to. To be me. No, I went about. <laughs> can you guys see that? <laughs> they're coming out at angle. Right. I will come back to that. Let's. I will come back to that and I will do it properly. But let's let's get on because we could be here forever watching me do this wrong. Right, I'm going to quickly check check on the chat and then we'll come back to this. <laughs> oh, trust me. Um, um, yeah, saying the little disc stops the don't lose the little disc needles. <laughs> Everyone say do not use the needles. Um, uh, Helen, hi Pam, can speak to you now. Hi there, Helen, good to see you. Um, Steffi's saying it's become very dark. Um, let's see if I, it's not a light box here. I just whoop, have little, little lights. It's probably, whoa. <laughs> right, now my lights have fallen over entirely. Come on. It's one of these days, isn't it? <laughs> oh, feels like. Right. Now, can I get light coming down here? Mm, kind of. Hopefully that's better. Right. That's as good as we've got just now. Um, oh, now it's dark on me. Now it's dark on me. Ah. <laughs> kind of better. Okay, that'll kind of do it. Um... Uh, the maker saying they lost the, ne the disc the first time and knotted the needles inside. <laughs> um, hi to Helen, hi to Diane. Um, Eric is saying this happens to us as well. <laughs> um, Steffi saying um, the needles are so close it can happen, it goes out the wrong hole. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> uh, oh, Faith, right, expert tip take out one needle at a time. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not the only one it happens to. Uh, Pamela, yeah, pliers or tweezers would have definitely helped to no end. They're downstairs and I'm I'm not. Um, <laughs> Steffi's saying it's a trap. Alicia's fairy's almost done, adding wings and flowers to her hair. And well done post pictures. Yep, absolutely. Um, persistence pays off, yes. Uh, Lisa wants to try and help. Um... Ah, it's Steffi asking if my needle's slightly bent. That might be causing it to come out. Um, they look pretty good. I think it's just me being an idiot. Um, they're looking pretty good. But I, I should have top top tip. I absolutely should have done one one, taken one needle out and put one needle in. So I will know that for the next time. No, I definitely want to get. 
They want to go through the wrong holes for me. I will. Oh, 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 got one in the right hole. Got one in the right hole. See, determined. Today is not going to be a dog. It's going to be me trying to figure out. No, nope, that's not right. It's going to be me trying to figure out needles. Oh, they are so naughty. You are naughty. I put it in one hole and it goes for the other. So I try the other hole and it goes, no. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Right. So yeah, absolutely. I will do one at a time. Oh, oh, we've got two. Right, guys, we've got two. I uh, either it's not going to go or it is. I can't get it in the wrong hole this time. Well, I probably can, <laughs> but we're we're two thirds of the way there. Oh wow, this is this is like a persistence game. Come on. Come on, little guy. Look. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna run with two. I've got two in, in the right hole, so now I have a two needle tool. Everybody <laughs> Everybody we have progress. We have a two needle tool. Why are they different lengths now? How did I do that? Because it's got a thing that they should not be different lengths. Right, you go. They're the same length. Stay there. And the little disc should hold them in place. Right, we have a two needle tool. We'll we'll, prog we'll grow up and get a three needle tool at a later date. Um, but we've got it. Oh, the makers, yeah, hold them up to the light. Good thinking. You can never do something fiddly in front of an audience. Absolutely. CJ, good morning. Uh, chat jumped again. Little birds, hello there. Happy Sunday. Um, <laughs> Steffi, you have one of those days too, all the time. Yep. <laughs> CJ, uh, you're a little late. I uh, don't worry at all about it. You just mainly missed me making a mess of things. Um... I came in <laughs> just so you're sticking things in the bottom and it got out the wrong hole. Yeah, that probably wasn't the family friendly stuff. Um <laughs> Yeah, makers thanking Faith for the great great tips. <laughs> um two out of three ain't bad. I agree. Um <laughs> Faith a bad experience helps when it's shared. <laughs> Everyone's telling me good job for for getting needles in a needle felting tool. Um, yay, Alicia, the fairy's done with black brown hair like you. Um, use the yellow curls another time. Right, let's let's get into this. Let's see what's in the box. <laughs> okay, so the needles were just something that the lovely makers sent me as a challenge, pretty much, to take up half of my live stream trying to figure out. Um, but that's entirely me. But this is what the subscription box will have. So we have our our little newsletter, as ever. It's always cool to see this, talking about the different types of boxes, new things. Oh, penguin and reindeer baubles. How fun. The schedule of the live streams for the month. Oh, rainbow peg dolls. How cute. That is lovely. With a little pattern. That would be a good little project to do with your kids as well. If you're still stuck in with them. <laughs> and we have the the newsletter for the box. I love that there's a little bit talking about the the real life dash hands that inspired this box. This is fab. What we have in the box. Oh, there's even little stuff to make collars and everything. That's cute. Um, and what we've got coming up. August is going to be the sloth. September is the otter and baby. And October is the wolf. Looking forward to all of those. And there's how to order. Here's the instructions. Got to keep these. What have we got? <laughs> oh, I love the templates. This is so cool. Um, but yeah, this is skill level for a crafty beginner, and they're going to be 22 to 25 centimeters. Oh wow, they're still big. <laughs> I'll show you. Like, my my general dogs are. I haven't measured them in what. Oh, my general dogs are about half the size of this, so it's still going to be a challenge for me. <laughs> Um, and our free sample is this gorgeous green. That is very nice. 
it's not showing up quite to true on camera it's a bit more neon for sure it's definitely neon green and then take this out just now pop the box away check in the wee back super cute Woo! <laughs> okay i let eyeballs or I assume their eyes fly out, so we'll pop them back in. Right, but we have little tiny leather collars. That is cute. And then, I've seen similar to this before. This is gorgeous. Just a little tag saying, Handmade with Love. I've thought about doing things like this on my dogs, because it is a lovely extra touch. It might be something I'll look into later, because that is adorable. And yes, love the colours. Such cute colours too. Right. And here's where wool. Um, let's get started a little bit. Oh, um, okay, important. Read before you start. Yes, boss. The 50 grams of white standard is more than enough. Take a good pinch and put it to one side. It's spare just in case. Cool. Um, I'll read the rest of it. <laughs> uh, the remaining core wool is split into three. Okay. I will do that just now. Because this should be enough to make three doggies. Um, I was going to say... We're going to make one today. I don't think we'll get as far as one today <laughs> because I've been so slow already. So take a good pinch aside. That's my just in case. I have plenty more wool lying about anyway. And now split this into three parts. Well, we only need one third for today. So that's about a third. Um... And we'll come into this later. Um, I did get a note earlier on. There is a little typo in the dogs where they're telling you with the colours of the legs. Go by the picture here when you're making the different types of legs. Um, where is the mistake? but there's a mistake saying to go by the to put the wrong color legs on one of the dogs so just go by the picture the two I say, say it in the chat girls I can't speak just now <laughs> um, right I'll just quickly check the chat and then we'll get going um, Oh, Steffi saying to Alicia, it's her birthday fairy. Oh, lovely. Oh, size includes the tail poking out. And neon green's great for making a tennis ball. Good thinking, a toy for the dogs. Okay, yeah, that's a, that makes more sense with the size for the tail. Because I'm going like, that's not much more wool than I use for my dogs. So yeah, probably, if we look at the tail sticking out. I don't have to shut this for the measurements. The full of the dog. Yeah, mine are much bigger. So yeah, it's only a little bit bigger. So that's I can manage that. Um, yes, it's your birthday, fairy. Oh, your grandma passed away at 97. I'm so sorry to hear that. But she loved wild roses and birds. So you'll name her Evelyn. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah, the neon greens for the tennis ball. Cool. Um, Alicia's saying the makers sell the little tags. Awesome. Um, Lizzie, is that how I say your name? That's cute. You couldn't join the chat on the phone. Yeah, it's complicated to get to chat on the phone, um, but you've changed to the laptop. Um, bottom of page three, there's an error with the dog's legs. Page three, is that page three? But, yeah, anyway, there's an error with the legs. The girls, the girls are, the ladies are saying, we're making the short hair dash pack dash hound use fox rust black brown not black as it says in the instructions cool okay so i've got to take this and it says split off about two thirds of it which i have already accidentally done what a genius um so this is the two thirds roll it into a sausage shape and felt 
down the wispy ends. We'll see, this might be too unstabby. Oh no, that's nice. That's good. I like that. Um, okay. You want to be, yeah, you want to be thinner at the back and bulkier at the front. I think dash hounds especially have, are quite chesty, quite chesty little dogs. Um, so yeah, we will work on that. I am actually, with a multi-needle tool, this is working pretty good. It'll be even better once I get the third needle in. But yeah, anything, I'll, I'll just show you the difference. Because these are so far apart, I just feel I'm always going to break one. But this is, this is fine, fine. <laughs> I mean fine as in they're close together, so it doesn't feel much worse than going with just one. So that's good. So two needles in place where where I would normally have one so each stab's worth twice as much twice as much bang for me bunk, buck um, and I'm just looking the the shape that they're giving us in the picture I'm trying to work on that so I'm just teasing this out slightly to make the back end thinner and we're going to have a nice rounded front end I'm trying to think what you would call that shape but I, I just won't think of that. <laughs> we'll just go with what we've got here. Um, uh, the maker's top left picture on show on page five shows the correct leg colours for the dogs. Um, yep, yeah, thank you, Donna. Page three asks you to use black for the short head legs. It should be the fox red. Um, let's let's see i don't know if i'm saying it right oh templates templates thanks steffi hey i'm doing not bad <laughs> right thank you i always forget the templates yes so uh, yeah i'm pretty much there cool um let's see the dash hand you're making is for your daughter who comes tomorrow after three months at it oh fantastic uh, she's a dog trainer fantastic um <laughs> templates are on the back yes the, the templates are great it really helps to have to have that that's way more organized than i ever am so i make hundreds of little dogs a year and the only i use pipe cleaners to make a little base so i can so my small medium and large have basically some kind of random structure but yeah my they they take different sizes i do have a little guy that i've got to work on so this is kind of my medium size which is probably going to be a similar size so i have worked in this size but they kind of go away with me i find out i think oh this one's not bad the wire finishes about here but i wanted to make extra feet but usually my size really really changes from what what the wire base it was i get carried away all the time um alicia the templates are what make the kits the best on the market i disagree i like the templates i like the wool it's all good i, I enjoy the wool that felts down really nicely i like the photo photographic instructions with the written word and i really like the little ruler it's all simple touches it's all the touches and I love, I love just the way the box, right, this is pathetic, but I love so much the way the boxes open up. It just feels magical that I actually changed my boxes. I'm stealing your ideas, makers. I sh changed my boxes when I shipped my dogs rather than just taped up in a box. They're in one of these that opens this way and then you lift the little, the little wrapping and the dogs there nestled in. I'm actually even going to figure out to print some little, not newsletters, but just print a little care card because all of that, it just makes it so special. So, yay. Um, let's see. Um, you photocopied copied the template so you didn't have to go backwards and forwards all the time to measure my doggy. That's a great idea. Um, yeah, that's great. Um, and Steffi, you've only been doing pa templates for a few months now and listening to people asking for them. That's why we love feedback. Absolutely. That's it. There you go. That's that's what's good. 
is that the makers of all the companies the makers are two people that you know you can talk to they are involved in these in the creation of these kits they are needle felters but they listen to their community they're seeing they're seeing how we all get on making them and adapt things so it's projects that we can all make and enjoy so yeah that's the best bit Sophie and Steffi's the best bit of the kits <laughs> um, Susan I wonder if I can get the maker's site as I live in Chicago you can absolutely love Pam's show thank you so much uh, yes I believe the makers ship worldwide and actually I have to say this the international shipping from the UK we're quite lucky it's not as bad as you think it is um, so it, it's not too bad to order things from the UK whereas unfortunately the other way around it's a bit of a struggle for us um, because like from America it seems it's a little more expensive to do international shipping I know whenever people ha when it well it's not happened often but occasionally people have um, had to send stuff back to me or wanted to send stuff to me and it's super expensive and we can get hit with custom charges which are horrible too so yeah it's actually not too bad we're lucky out the way um, Alicia's saying you like it all but you haven't seen templates like these on other kits no the only ones I've seen it in was the Japanese kit which I've got another one of um, and thank goodness because I couldn't read any of the instructions because they were all in Japanese but yeah step by step photos and templates mean that pretty much everyone can mainly follow along um, so it is cool uh, Lisa yeah you think the separate sheet is e easier and a genius idea absolutely that's that's a cool idea too um, and yeah Steffi saying to Susan you should be able to access the website no problem at all um, CJ hounds are my favourite small breed dog um, yeah I I say what's my favorite definitely well definitely I'm I'm a border collie type person but for the rest I like all sorts hounds are great fun um as I said a couple of weeks ago I think I'm I'm an agility trainer and I did have a couple of basset hounds that trained me with me once and they were so much fun um I have all sorts it it's great fun um you would think as an agility trainer I only get to see like certain dogs but I see all breeds. We have the Basset Hound group, um, the class that came with that. I had a Basset Hound, which is unusual enough. I had a Papillon, which are not so unusual. They're quite good. They're fantastic little agility dogs, but tiny. And then we had a Leonberger, which very huge, but also surprisingly agile. Great, great dogs. So that was a very mixed class. Um, but yeah, it's it's not all border collies. Get a lot, lot, lot of cocker spaniels. They're very good at it. Um, but all breeds, Dalmatians, miniature Schnauzers, lots of crossbreeds, Jack Russells, all sorts. Um, um, Yeah, customer feedback is very awesome, Lisa. Um, yeah, completely agree. <laughs> and Steffi's put links. You should go to the Makers Facebook group. It is fantastic, and it's a place to show off what you make with their stuff. Uh, templates really help with the proportions. Completely ag agree. Um, <laughs> here we go, some more tips tips about the breed i love this um dash is the german word for badger so they're badger hounds and are incredibly brave and determined yes i've i've heard that about them i haven't dealt much with dash hounds since i was a little kid they're not very common up here but but yes a lot definitely out from from the agility training um all the small dogs have the giantest personalities um i love working with like well border collies what you've got is they have to have the intelligence to be able to my girl does this perfectly she's not a border collie she's a cross but they have the no whatever it is you're telling me to do 
I can assess this situation better and you're wrong. Um, a collie has to, people think they're just like robot dogs, but a collie has to be able to assess the situation and say, no, you can't see what I can see. I'm doing something different, which can be challenging to say the least. Um, but a lot of the bigger dogs are very biddable. <laughs> they are, they're, they're, all the breeds are lovely. Oh, Labradors, I, the Labradors I work with are hilarious all of them the biggest fearties the biggest scared things like every new thing it's like you're trying to kill me you're trying to kill me you're oh this is the best thing in the world wow this is great and they just have these faces that show exactly what they're thinking and I don't know if my friend's listening but her dog Bailey expresses it perfectly he'll be running and he's seen a load of jumps in front of him and his face is just pure, pure joy it's like this is great I'm jumping I'm doing this thing she's off because she want, she wanted him to be doing something else and he hasn't noticed yet and it's the scrappy do face going this is great this is great where are you oh <laughs> so <laughs> labradors are happy um happy a little bit terrified and a bit daft um but yeah all the little ones the terriers the the little hounds and everything are so much so much more independent because if you think like terriers and well the dash out you know badger hounds and everything they've got to be sent off to do their job without input from you and they've got to get on with it so it's much more a challenge to get them to work with you i've had surprise the miniature schnauzers are absolutely hilarious that you can teach them to do something they're like yeah this is great fun and you go let's do it again like no i already did that no no we're not doing this anymore they're hilarious um alicia yep join the facebook fan group <laughs> we're a blast true groupies absolutely um and cj saying collies are your favorite mid-sized dog they're so intelligent absolutely um Lisa got kisses from a beautiful Akita called Kiki and she looks like a big fox. Yep, love Akitas too. Um, different challenges with these kind of dogs. What I find with Akitas is not, well, the, the ones that I've worked with have all range of different personalities but the problem is just the way they're bred they're quite upright with the upright ears and the upright tails so other dogs can have trouble understanding what they're communicating which can make them a little difficult right how do we do with our size i'm doing good i'm a little bit smaller which i'm totally happy with but looks good right step <laughs> we're only on step two i uh, take just over half of the remaining core wool gotcha um flatten it so it's about as long as it is wide Do all these steps neater and slower than I'm doing. Um, fold it in half that way. Keep the folded edges and roll. Okay, so the neater folded edge will become the snout. Gotcha. Um, felt the wispy edge down and make a pointy snout. This is cool. I completely, um, I do have some videos on how to make a dog's head and how to make my <laughs> my famous patented. I think I was about one of the first people who made dogs with open mouths, um, but people make them so much better than me now. Is this? I think I felted this shut, but yes, it, he'd had. I made him with an open mouth and then shut his mouth. Um, but I do mine totally different in that I will make a ball or the ball shape um this is this is a bit more round rounded anyway but with like the sight hounds i'll make it a narrower ball or a fatter ball and then i'll make a tube shape to go onto the nose and then i work on the shape from there so this is a total opposite which is really cool um how much chat have i missed now um i'll bet see you own three two wire hairs and one long hair the wires are such comedians oh lovely uh helen 40 years ago bred german shepherds chihuahuas and bichons um took beauty classes and obedience <laughs> wow that's quite a mix 
Um, I've worked a lot with Bichons as well. They're quite lovely. Um, Dash is pronounced Dax and Je Of course I did. I did know that. <laughs> Thank you. They're called Daxel. Um, Betsy, yeah, we've got, I got you. It's three Dash hands. Diane loves all dogs. Yay. Um, <laughs> Lisa, we have a Springer Spaniel. Cute, a bit naughty and energetic. That pretty much sums, sums up Springers. I love them too. Yeah, I love anything that's a bit naughty. I, I have to confess, there was a while I was looking after a friend's dog while she was away, and he was a lovely dog, but he was just so happy to do everything, and he had no naughtiness in him, and it kind of was like, it's boring. <laughs> I like them to have a bit of naughty. Uh, Steffi, we used to have a wirehead, the best family dog ever. He used to sleep upside down in the blanket with just his crown jewels exposed. <laughs> oh, under the blanket. I can totally picture that. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, right. I think I'm probably. Oh. Where's the headpiece? Right. So I can actually check that. I, I'm, I was thinking I was doing too little. I'm not doing too bad. I need to tidy up my. I've got all the piles of wool from the other projects that I haven't tidied up yet. I'm not even joking. There's just like all the colours at this side. <laughs> I have to tidy this up, but we'll get to it. Um, but yeah, so I want to make this snout and then. Yeah, this is cool. This is a completely different way, so we'll see how this works out. Um, and then we're going to open up all of this, and you want to. Insert your fingers to get an idea of where the bulk needs to be added to get the domed foreheads. Insert small amounts of wool, I assume it's from this left behind bit, into the upper area behind the snout. Mind your fingers, yes. Um, so the head should have a pointy snout of about 2 to 3 centimetres. Perfect. I could do with some smoothing it, but we'll come to that. Um, and a firm forehead. So we'll work. I think that needs just a little more. The chin area will be flat. That's totally interesting to <laughs> build it up from inside. Completely different. I'm just going to... I'm a bit fluffy there, so I'm going to add a little bit to smooth out the nose a bit. Because when I'm talking and felting, I'm not paying as much attention to smoothing. And also, <laughs> um, but be kind to me, everybody, because I am using a brand new tool, which usually take a bit to get the hang of, but it's not been too bad at all. Now, this is the stage where it could look like a dragon or it could look like something a little bit rude. Um, but it, it's going to be a dog, determined. Um, but yes, I'm just trying to get the... So I'm adding more and more to get the domedness of the head. It's totally interesting. Like I said, oh, every time it's different to how I would do it. And that's never wrong, it's just always different. Taking some from the bottom up to the top. <laughs> and see head template. <laughs> Thank you for keeping reminding us. Actually, I'm not doing bad. I'm I'm pleased. <laughs> um Oh, CJ, um, loving the tiny bite videos. They're extremely informative. Thank you so much. I'm I'm enjoying doing them. It's interesting because it sort of takes the pressure off of me a little bit as well. When I'm like, if I was going to make a video on keywords, then I would sit down forever and try and make sure I get all the details in. Whereas this way, I was able to make three videos because I did one and then I thought, oh, I should have talked about this. Let's do another video on it. <laughs> um, so. It, it's really helping me too because I can deep dive into a little tiny bit. 
so yeah i'm glad you're enjoying it because i'm enjoying it uh it's uh yours looked like a duck yeah they go through ducks they go through frog stages they go they they don't worry if what you're felting doesn't look like what you want it to it will get there in the end um Lysandra, hello there from Brazil. Hi. Um, Steffi's saying she loves Springer Spaniels. I do too. So much fun. We have two and a cocker too. Such sanguine... Big words. <laughs> Perfect for children. Always up for adventure. Oh yeah. Our dash hand has its own ideas, but very loyal. <laughs> yeah. That's it. They all have their... Each dog is individual but to the breeds they there are similarities in the breeds <laughs> rosani yay a weenie dog hi there rosani yep indeed a weenie dogs <laughs> right i will get more shaping on this in a bit but take a small pinch of the remaining white wool and roll it into a short little stump and firm this up so this is going to be it's kind of its neck but also well this is attaching the head to the neck completely different way my way is far more fiddly so yeah this is cool um <laughs> lisa's saying my little big big springer yeah the Springers and cockers are coming in all different types of sizes nowadays, which is really interesting. I, I see a lot of them when I do agility shows. Um, there are some super dainty um, cocker spaniels now that are, I can't even say what size they are, but they're absolutely tiny. And some of the springers are, are chunky. They're definitely chunky big dogs and some of them are little dainty dogs. It's really interesting to see the variety. I like the working breeds that are less standardized they're a bit more all different um oh pamela thanks for the tip you'll look up the tiny bites <laughs> it's awesome i am going to rearrange how my channel page is set up so that the playlist for the eatsy bites is is easier to find i will have to remember and do that but but yeah um i think there's five or six bites in the in the bites playlist so far it's going good and i've got tons of ideas for more we have monday it's already made edited and ready to go i have a video that you guys might like about tags i actually did a science i tested my theories rather than just say them and the results are interesting so that's probably the last video on tags and then I'll get on to titling and then we'll do the description that I know people have been asking for um, yeah oh Steffi your springer is nine years old today happy birthday Bramble that's lovely <laughs> right body need the body um, so that bits his chest that bits his belly so I want to put felt the next stubby onto his body tilting forwards slightly making sure the deep chest is below exactly they have quite a deep chest thins to the belly and this is the back yeah this is such an interesting way to do the head lovely guys thank you thank you for always coming up with different ways this is not how i do it at all um, you'll see in my videos I make the head hole and I make the body hole and then I would have fluffiness and just sort of sit holding them together working between one and the other. It's quite fiddly but you kind of get used to your way of doing things. Right, the sun is, doesn't matter what I do with these curtains, the sun finds a way to sneak in. There we go. and makes the picture too contrasty. Um... <laughs> let's see your daughter wants a liam burger you're not fitting the food bill they are very big dogs what i like about them um for the big dog the really big dogs they're not drooly at all which is fantastic i i love dogs but i i'm not a fan of drooly dogs <laughs> um and like i say they're very agile we do agility with them and i've been surprised like i'll get into situations because I'm used to running small dogs so I'll, I'll run the dog and I'll 
be in a situation where I'm like right at the jump and I, I'm asking the dog to jump sort of 90 degrees in the opposite direction and I get there and I'm like she's never going to manage it and I I just go go and she goes yeah I can do this <laughs> so really good um lovely story actually my my friend that has the Leonbergers um when I met her her oldest dog she she'd been super good at agility right let's let's pull pull the head on first before I carry on with this so yeah I pull out the wispy ends pop pop that over and then <laughs> felt it in yeah cool so I'll get on with my story while I'm doing that um her dog that I met her with um she'd had glaucoma and actually lost her eyes she was blind but she'd learnt agility before she lost her eyes um so when her mom was getting ready to take the other dog out and was putting on her agility shoes the dog knew that it was the agility shoes so he started getting all excited and she was like oh i guess i've got to take my dog out <laughs> then took her out and actually she did she continued to do agility um until she got until she was about 10 which is super old for a giant dog to be doing jumping but we would put her like healer following your hand she would heal and wait at, wait where you told her to and when you said jump she would leap forwards with this lovely <laughs> noise that she absolutely loved it if you walked her up to the weaves and let her nose feel the first one she would weave when you said weave and when you came up to the tunnel she would like feel about for it and then go through the tunnel it was amazing it would never have occurred to me that was so lovely to see and then as she got older we didn't put any bar on the jumps but we didn't actually have any jumps there we would just walk her up to something get her to wait and tell her to jump and she didn't know there wasn't a jump so she would still fling herself as much as as much as she could and it was lovely just to see how happy she was thinking she was doing agility when there was nothing there <laughs> it was lovely um uh, Steffi saying Bramble belongs to your oldest daughter. All my three girls got their own dog when they turned nine. Oh, lovely! <laughs> Didn't realise what we started with the first daughter. It was given for the others after that. Absolutely, yeah. You can't do it for one and then not for the others. That's lovely, though. Andrea, hello there. Um, uh, Helen, when we were breeding dogs, one son wanted a cat. <laughs> um, it's the cutest thing on God's earth is a Leonberger puppy. I'm doomed. Yeah, well, my friend with the Leonbergers last Christ not not for Christmas, but last the end, the beginning of last year, she did breed Leonberger puppies, and I think they were four weeks old when I got to see them. Um, she invited me up to the house, and I got to play with the puppies, and it's the because any other breed of dog at four weeks old would like nestle in your hands they're tiny things but these were spaniel sized tiny baby puppies they, they were tiny compared to what they were going to be but they were giant but you know they, they'd only just opened their eyes they were all clumsy and <laughs> very puppy it was very weird but absolutely adorable i think i'm trying to remember how many she had it was like about six and basically she just had me sit in the living room and dumped six giant puppies all over me. It was awesome. <laughs> oh, Stephanie's saying your 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 son has a cat as well. <laughs> what is it with the boys wanting cats? <laughs> um, Bonnie, your friend's mum used to breed Leonbergers. She had four. The house always had puppies. Um, oh, they're lovely. Um, me and my friend would sit in the garden just surrounded by puppies. Some of my happiest memories. Absolutely. Puppies are awesome. <laughs> and that would be Lizzie's daughter's idea of heaven. Oh, mine too. Sounds great. Right. I, I have not got this head as smooth as I would like. I do have a little bit. Of, right. I'm just going to use this little bit of fluff left that I'd left aside because... I do the, of all the things for me to get wrong I don't want to get a dog wrong <laughs> that is but I know there will be colour going on top of this as well so it won't look so bad 
but I, I do want to get the dog right. Dogs are my thing. <laughs> Now, am I right? Just trying to remember breeds. Do dash is it dash hands? I'm thinking of that tend to have a bit of a. I get, always get these muddled up, but an underbite. Their their chin tends to be a little shorter than their nose. Um, not sure. Um, Andrea, lovely story. It's amazing how animals can adjust to, to so many circumstances. Absolutely. Actually, sadly, as I said in, in that class, we had um, Papillons, Liam Burgers and Basset Hounds. Well, the, the Papillon that I was working with, sadly, she went blind just the end of last year, but she's doing so fantastic. They, they just deal with it. They trust you and she's running about on walks. Um... And I've seen her mum's training her loads of different tricks, like to to go up and find a tree or something. She'll she'll help her find a tree, and then she'll tell her to go ra go around it left or go around it right, and she'll go around kind of feeling the tree. It's adorable. Um, Steffi, yeah, Leonbergers are so big. Um, they only live to eight or nine years. Yeah, unfortunately, the bigger the dog, the less time they live sadly um as so i think my friends how she was at least 11 or 12 she was a good age um when she she passed for the big breeds but yeah it's it's heartbreaking the they they take so long to mature you've got to be so careful with their little their little joints their little giant joints and everything um you've got to be so careful with them for so long and then they they're they're hardly grown up when they're old um, but they they are a lovely gentle breed and I can see why people would be into them. They're they don't they really don't realise they're big dogs. <laughs> um Alicia's finished sorting everything into bags for each dog. Um Bonnie saying, I always think of Liam Burgers as a cross between a Great Dane and a Newfoundland, just huge bundles of fur and slobber. Um as I say, not so much slobber. Um, but I think a lot of those breeds did go into them. I can't remember all the breeds. Um, but they're definitely Newfoundland sort of size. Um, but with the rich red coat. Um, usually kind of tipped a little bit with blacks and everything. Really gorgeous coat. I've I've snuggled snuggled up to a Leonberger blanket before now. <laughs> Oh, um, let's see, your neighbour has a rotty Newfoundland cross called Teddy because he's so fluffy. Oh, I bet. That sounds adorable. <laughs> right, that's looking a little bit better. Um, okay, let's... Oh, I wasn't reading ahead. It is saying lay some wisps of the spare stash to smooth it all out and everything. So and it should be getting firmer. So if you're not like me, who likes a really fine needle, but you could move on to your finer needles by this stage, absolutely. Um, I do think I definitely need a little bit more forehead here. Where's the pictures? Yes, they are quite quite rounded. Um, and Sophie, thank you for. Thank you for moderating a bit there. I didn't I didn't catch that, but thank you. Um Oh, okay, there wasn't a bad thing there. Okay. <laughs> uh Helen our wolfhound thought she could be a lap dog. Of course she could be a lap dog. <laughs> I mean granted if she sat on your lap then you absolutely couldn't get up again but she could get some of her on your laps yeah I, I think they can totally be a lap dog <laughs> but yes and the the Leonbergers also seem very much for what I call a collie cuddle different breeds of dog are affectionate differently but collies tend to lean into you and Leonbergers do the same but if you're getting leaned on by a Leonberger you're really leaned on <laughs> Started raining out there again. Um, yes, yeah, so Sophie saying Betsy didn't, she didn't mean to put you in a timer. <laughs> oh, it's easy to 
hit the wrong buttons when you're moderating. Um, she's she's only timed out for 300 seconds, so hopefully back soon. I don't think there's anything I can do my end. But so <laughs> so Betsy, just save up what you were gonna say and let us know. <laughs> Right, there's still a lot to do here, um, a lot of smoothing, but we'll definitely looks like a duck. <laughs> um, uh, okay, legs. Regardless of which type of dash hand you're making, the size and shape and the legs are the same for each. Okay, is this, yeah, this is where the mistake is. The short head, which we're starting with, shouldn't be black, it should be the fox rust brown. Um, so take a good pinch. I'm, just, I'm going to read ahead um, because I might... Yep, yeah. okay, so what I would tend to do here to make sure that my front legs are the same at least is I'm going to take my good take an extra good pinch and split it in two um the legs are going to be fairly little but stumpy so so I'm trying to make sure I've got the same size because I am terrible at getting at getting it once I've done one getting the right amount so another thing you can do is when you squish them like that's kind of about the right size okay so that's two for the front legs. Fold it in half. Oh, I see. That's going to be the paws, is it? Um, short, fat sausage shape. Oh, yeah. Clever. That's cool. Um, felt this shape down. dash hands have short legs but we need to make them sturdy yep so I'm just going to focus in on the bottom three centimeters of this making it a nice rounded paw um. <laughs> oh Helen um your wolf hand wasn't it I've lost the lost the chat now she only managed to get her head on your lap well that was quite polite um the the Leonbergers get their entire body on your lap. <laughs> oh, Betsy's back in the chat. Awesome. <laughs> um, you're just scrolling, Sophie. Oh, these things happen. <laughs> oh, Alicia, this sounds interesting. So, message South Pole back, but you're sorry you had super glue all over yourself. That's hilarious. <laughs> And at least Betsy is back. Yes, yeah. <laughs> the the tight you you're off the naughty step. <laughs> I should put Sophie in time out just for fun. Andrea, you've never felt it before. It's fascinating how these go together. Yeah, it's. I remember the way back many years ago when I first felt it, and it was like every little thing I did when I put long hair on, I was like, "Wow, look, it's like long hair." And my mum was visiting at the time, and she would just kind of look at me like, "Yeah," <laughs> but yeah, it's it's a super different craft than anything else I can think of, really, because we're sculpting and we're creating the fabric at the time that we're making it. It's yeah, it's really cool. Oh, this is definitely going to be a chunky leg. Um, Uh, Lisa spent so much time on my sausage dog legs I'm grateful we're not making a giraffe if you're doing something bigger absolutely um, I would be using a wire core for things like a giraffe the legs and the neck of a giraffe unless it's lying down which if you're going to make a giraffe make it lying down it's far easier to get the proportions but absolutely do a wire frame oh I did there should be on this channel yeah I recorded somebody asked me to make a battle giraffe from World of Warcraft and that was so much fun um, but I had to get the 
the wire frame the the skeleton i had to get that totally right to start with um and then build around that but it came out so much better than i expected um <laughs> Bonnie, Andrew, you'll love it so relaxing and I love the crunch sound. <laughs> I know it is cool. <laughs> Rosani, welcome to the felting experience. <laughs> uh, yeah, Rosani, there's one we, we conned into the dark side. Rosani does wonderful work with papier mache. Say it right, Pam. Um, but joined in with us and um, now does do a bit of felt and I love for her she's done some mixed media um, adding in some of the some of the felting like making mad hair for your what is the word I'm looking for I can't remember but little little creaturey little men things with a hair poking out which is awesome but but yeah so we've we've hooked Rosani in as well Oh, Steffi, yeah, thanks for copying the link where you can get the sub box. So if anyone's interested in it, <laughs> I do enjoy these subscription boxes. And I should have said somewhere at the start, um, obviously, I'm not sponsored in any way um, by the makers, nor do I want to be. Um, uh, they did very kindly send me this needle pen that I know if if anyone missed the start of this you can see how I nearly broke the felting needle pen in the first three seconds of having it um, but they sent me the felting needles and they sent me the pen um, but I do purchase the subscription boxes because I do like to support them and it is great for, it's something for me to do on a Sunday I really love it um, but yes, so you can get the link to the Maker's subscription box is there. Lily Tree, hello there, good to see you. Um, and Lily's another one we've... What's the word I'm looking for? Corrupted. Corrupted will do. Um, <laughs> um, Lily makes wonderful wire wrapped jewellery, but we have got our needle felting on occasion. And when she does felt along... Her work is awesome, but the, there wouldn't be a black and tan dash hound. It would be like a purple and green dash hound. It's awesome. <laughs> um, Betsy's saying they have chunky little legs. Yeah, this one's definitely going to have chunky little legs for sure. Um, oh no, Alicia, you had to cut the super glue out of your fingers. Oh no, great job. Because yeah, most glues you can get away with just peeling off, but super glue properly bonds to your fingers so yeah be careful <laughs> now helen saying you're just imagining lucy's dog with giraffe legs yeah um your, your dash hound with big legs <laughs> faith is it so good that she had to shout it i won't shout it because some people have headphones on but i love world of warcraft i've not got into it but you you should know the giraffes that i mean then i might be making it up it was i'm sure it was world of warcraft but these great big giraffes they were so cool oh no steffi your husband once glued his eyelid shut a trip to accident emergency oh Wow, I'm clumsy, but I've never glued my own eyeball shut. <laughs> let's see, saying it's let's be silly time and Helen's in the lead. And, OMG, Steffi from Alicia. I got, wow. <laughs> Faith. Yeah, how? Honestly, I was going to ask how, and then I just thought the amount of times I'm touching my eyeballs today, I can kind of see how. Um... Uh, oh, chat jumped again. You don't felt you use the foam sheets to craft. You love the feel of the foam, but love the sound <laughs> of felting more. Yeah, um, there's so much you can do with, with foam and felt and all sorts of things. We have, as, as you've already seen, we have so many different kinds of crafters here. You don't, you don't have to needle felt to be here. We might suck you into the, into the craft, but no, I love seeing everybody else's work. So yeah, um, should actually plug myself a little bit as well yeah um my my group on pa facebook is 
Cam Duffy's crafty friends. So come and join the class, crafty clan. <laughs> remembered, remembered our group group name that we invented. Yes, yeah, so come join the crafty clan. And there you can share any kind of of crafty work. There we love to see it all. It's not just about needle felting at all. That just happens to be the <laughs> only thing I can do. Um, I, I can't be trusted with glue or tape or needles. I really can't be trusted with anything. <laughs> Steffi saying your husband tried to glue a mirror onto the inside windscreen of the car and touched his eye accidentally. Bingo! <laughs> oh, Lily saying she's easily led. That's good to know. <laughs> <laughs> now that's how we dragged you into felting. I hope I hope not too much with the for for everyone who doesn't know, um England for some magical reason decided to open the pubs for the first day to open the pubs since lockdown on the fourth of July. I know it's England and we don't celebrate the fourth of July but yeah, it looked frightening. I believe in Scotland from Monday beer gardens are going to be open but not actually the inside of pubs so I'm not quite so scared but oh, yeah it, it just seemed bonkers on a Saturday from 6 in the morning they let the pubs open and then they're like why aren't people social distancing really they've been in the pubs since 6 in the morning are you surprised oh Rosanna you enjoy felting cotton too ah cool Andrea makes wreaths, quilts, knits, crochet and cake decorate. <laughs> I think my hubby would revolt if I got another craft as I'm busting out of my craft room. <laughs> well, that's it. You're not a proper crafter if you've only got the one craft room. <laughs> there was, someone was sharing a thing. I should have shared it on Facebook. Um, but it was it was a company I can't remember what it was for but they had a check box when you're filling in your address and everything and it said um do you need do you need an alibi with this such as congratulations on winning this <laughs> so you could totally say say that you won a needle felting kit <laughs> and yeah you can't be helped if you win things if they just accidentally come in the post it's not your fault <laughs> Steffi, yeah. Rosanna, you felt cotton. Wow, how? <laughs> Need to know how you do that. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, Andrea, yeah. Lily has, has good advice as well. What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Or there's always the famous one. It's it's always better to ask for forgiveness than permission. <laughs> Erica, you do a fine job stabbing legs. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Lisa, can you put the group name in the description so bad at remembering and spelling um can can any can any of the blue spanner people pop in a link um to pam duffy's crafty friends and to the makers we, we might as well do a little bit of that while we're here um right where did they get to oh i've got to make a, a paw i didn't even notice that so sort of already started making a paw um so just a centimetre away from the end, turn my little felty needle. Yeah, so I'm just going to bend that out slightly. <laughs> That's so cute. A tiny but giant leg. It's like four times the, the thickness of any legs I make, but half as long. Um... Andrea, you already have a stash of ribbon under the bed. Ooh, secret, <laughs> secret supply stash. It's like the people that have secret places where they hide chocolate. But no, you you secretly hiding ribbons. <laughs> Faith, yeah, drunk people don't socially distance. I know it. How how didn't didn't the people in charge realise that that would be a difficult thing? <laughs> Oh boy, I hope everyone's okay and staying sensible. Oh, top tip from Rosani here. Right, let's let's get on with the second bendy bit. Um, you take cotton fibre apart into length. There, sorry, itchy nose. Into lengths and make a shape. You apply cotton on top of paper mache. Oh, cool. As long as there's depth and you stab it all into place. Ah, awesome, cool. Lily Tree, I have no desire to head to the pub just now. I know, I know. I would, 
I would be like I was going to say happy with a beer garden the thing is my friends live quite a distance away um, if everyone was close and there was a beer garden around the corner maybe I would sit in a beer garden but sitting in a pub I, to go from nothing it sort of gives me slight anxiety thinking about that actually um, and Steffi yeah anyone is interested in making dolls we do that too we, you do indeed and they're awesome so yes if you want different crafts the makers do have other options uh, 13th of August on YouTube body is knitted but could also be sewn awesome <laughs> yeah is Rosani have you got a video of doing your cotton paper mashiness it does sound cool and Sophie thanks for popping up the, the groups um, that's great yeah Rosani that sounds cool and Rosani does have a YouTube channel of her paper mashing uh, just click on the three dots next to her name and you'll get to her channel again Lily Tree has a YouTube channel on her wire wrapped jewellery which is absolutely awesome as well click on her name too Uh, Bonnie saying to Andrea that her husband's just enabling her craft addiction <laughs> asked for a sewing machine for my birthday so I can turn my butterfly subscription picture into a cushion oh awesome I didn't hang can you actually see my butterfly hang on I decided to pop it Ooh. yeah probably can't see it but it's it's tucked away in there for just now till I figure out what to do I am building up quite a collection it's awesome um, but yeah a cushion for the, the butterfly would be awesome if I had more space I would have a nice comfy sofa and I could make it into a cushion there um, oh right so the back legs are the same as well so I just have to do this again twice roughly try and get the same well if if one pair is slightly bigger then they can be the front slightly smaller there's the words um there we go so again fold roll that's a good way to get nice dense pore ends is to fold like that um Oh no, Diane, your your hubby went off to the pub yesterday and he's gone to watch football today. Oh dear. Yeah, I I get people want to get back to their normal lives, but no, that kind of terrifies me a little bit just now. I miss my friends, but I, I think it's going to be a little while, like thinking of like pubs and gigs and clubs and things, all that's going to be a little while. I did... Um, for those that don't know I help my friend out with a once a month club and through lockdown he's been doing a live stream on Twitch that we've all been going along to um, but people were, were talking about it and I did suggest that next month we might consider if the weather's nice we could meet in a park and play the Twitch stream in the park with everyone social distancing well with a few people and that, that sounds nice but being in the being inside with people sounds a little bit terrifying just now I, I do my I do the limit and I'm probably possibly okay um if you missed it I probably had COVID at the start of the start of the lockdown so I'm probably safe to be inside but I still want to be sensible and I don't know because you don't get testing kits here um and they're only just rolling out the antibody kits just now so yeah it'll be a while I might find out um, Andrea saying they opened the bars in Illinois at the end of June I haven't gone to meet my friends as I'm a hugger oh, yeah that's the other thing that's difficult yeah changing changing up that behavior I'm starting I'm doing my dog training again from next week because I train in very small classes and outside but even then I was thinking you know not getting too close to people not giving someone a hug i will be patting their dogs i don't care <laughs> um but yeah uh yep rosani does share her felting pr 
projects in, in my group every now and again and they are cool, it's really cool. Oh, Lily, exciting, fantastic teaser. <laughs> <laughs> you have a chain mail video just uploading now so it'll be available shortly oh cool I, yeah mum um my mum did some chain mail jewelry at one one stage and i've got a friend who does does lots of it it's awesome so fiddly um <laughs> sophie there's another way to look at it how kind he gives you time to focus on your crafting and peace exactly um Helen, you love chain mail, lint free, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> and you prefer felting, yes, social distancing. Um Yeah, everyone loves chain mail. I think you've done a good thing there, Lily. Um ooh, chat jumped again. Um Janet, hello there. Um was making a wire bonsai tree. Oh lovely. Um is it bat wool or core? I still get mixed up. Um these are pretty sure this is bat. Yes, wool bats, fox rust brown, New Zealand merino. Mm -hmm. um, I love the wire bonsai trees. I've always thought about trying to make one, but I'm clumsy. <laughs> Have we dealt with the fact I'm clumsy? <laughs> uh, Bonnie, you think you've been lucky during the pandemic. You work in a nursery in the baby room, so social distancing isn't possible. So I get cuddles every day. I can't hug the children in the other rooms. Oh, that's lovely. Um, agree, Alicia? Yeah, Janet, the bonsai tree sounds amazing. We need a picture. <laughs> I agree, absolutely. Um, Faith, you think most of the public are being sensible? Yeah, I, I agree. The, it sells papers to show us the idiots. Um, but most people are being sensible. It's the minority of things who mess things up. You'll just stay at home and felt. Absolutely, we have the perfect social distancing craft. Not only is it social distancing because we're sitting alone, but if anyone comes near, we have a tiny weapon. <laughs> um, but yes, absolutely. It's, I would say live streaming and needle felting definitely keeps keeps me sane. <laughs> Helen, uh, you've just seen what predictive text does to Lily's name. <laughs> what what does it do? <laughs> I can't do it just now. My phone's downstairs because for those those who've missed it in streams, it doesn't behave itself. It it randomly decides that I'm asking Google for things and oh, I, it it starts cheering me and doing all sorts of silly things. Right guys, as I predicted, I am not going to get this dog finished because I felt so, I, I spent so long in trying to get, <laughs> trying to fix the mistakes I made with the tiny stabby tool, um, that the dog is not going to get completed at all. Um, but we're, we're going to have a body and legs and a head uh, which I think is pretty good going and then we'll be in a good place for next week um yeah so that sounds cool so if everyone's great with that then you can that gives you all a chance to catch up and get get to that place um I don't think there's a huge amount more I will try <laughs> I will try give a warning depends how busy I am this week but I will try and get the other bodies to this kind of stage but I'm not entirely sure I'll have time um, but whatever next week we will be completing this short haired dash hound forgetting words already um, but yeah I just want to get him stood up before we finish or at least at least his legs attached if not stood up <laughs> Again, this is interesting, and it looks super cool with with the legs. I do a lot. I don't tend to. I do pause sometimes when I make the legs too long. Um, I do pause sometimes when I make the legs too long, but I spend a lot of time trying to get that whole um, hocks and the calves and everything. But this looks really cute. Just making all four legs the same because they're so little, you can get away with it too. <laughs> um. Oh, that's the, the lint free. Got it. Understand now. Yes. So lily tree becomes lint free. <laughs> Brilliant. 
uh, Artisan Crafts. Hello there. I'm very good. Thank you so much. Um, how are you? And thank you for joining us. Um, <coughs> Steffi, I've, I have to put your f my phone on to do not disturb and forget to undo it and no one can get hold of me. Perfect. Uh, yeah, my phone's almost always on silent, but it, it's the other way around. I, I forget occasionally and it shouts at me in the middle of a live stream or cheers me, which is even creepier when you're not expecting it and there's no one else in the house and suddenly there's a round of applause from down the side of your sofa <laughs> it's very nerve-wracking not as bad as was it siri that was randomly in the middle of the night doing a child's giggle what <laughs> i would burn the house down with that that's terrifying that that's haunted nonsense <laughs> So yeah, I'm still not sure about all these new technologies that are just seem to be out there to bully you and freak you out. Alright. Just got to turn the paw for these ones. And then it'll be time to attach them. Um has anyone who else has made their their dash hounds yet? Um or has, who's still waiting on the what's the word who's still waiting on the kits who's getting a kit um or who's who's made their dash hounds and don't forget to when you've done them put them up in the makers group and you can put them up in pam Duffy's crafty friends as well we love to see them too um but yeah love to see them oh it started really raining and windy again out there <sighs> crazy oh cj thank you so much for the the pear super stick oh that is so cute thank you that is lovely of you i really appreciate that um alicia we went to the beach today and can go to the quiet ones and easily socially distance hardly anyone about absolutely doing the sensible beaches that sounds like the the sensible thing to me i did last week when it was still summer um apparently it is no longer summer <laughs> in scotland um but last week i went to a place um quite close close to me it's like about seven miles away um, where there's a bit of a beach where I got in paddling which was amazing and I think from Monday someone said we we're allowed to travel a little bit further so I'll be able to get to the beach um, but I'm only going to go to places that I know are quiet I just well I always do even even the busy beaches that I love to go to I don't everyone just seems to go they go down the steps to the beach and then they stop right where they are and don't move whereas i'll go down onto the beach and just walk like half a mile a mile along the beach and you get to a nice quiet bit um where you know people are lazy so just walk for a bit and it's lovely walking on the beach bit of paddling the dogs enjoy swimming and everything so so yeah even if I go to a busy beach I wouldn't sit if you see the pictures of people all tightly packed in it looks awful um right I've got to add okay we will be ah yes we will be felting them shaping them further later on so yeah but I just want to look at the length of these legs I've actually made them quite quite good they're all very similar actually um So we'll pop these on and then that oh, that looks really cute. It's <laughs> gonna fluff it up a little bit underneath his body, but yeah, that looks about the right position to me. And then once we've got the legs on, that'll be us for the day. Um chat went super fast again which is awesome um oh helen's waiting patiently for your kit yeah mine only came yesterday so i was i was waiting very impatiently and the, the makers girls were like pam are you going to do a kit you're going to do a kit I, like, I, I want to do the kit i don't know it's not here yet <laughs> but i've got it now um oh bonnie you're going to start yours after you've 
you've finished watching me and made yourself a cup of tea that sounds like a plan awesome and far more sensible than me actually doing your research before you start <laughs> I just dive in and then I'm like oh I should have read ahead there shouldn't I <laughs> His legs are a bit splayed just now, just trying to get them in. And they're quite chunky, but... <laughs> um, Lisa just put the ears on, going to finish her after dinner. Awesome! Oh, that's great. I can't wait to see that. Um, how long was the next stump? It was roughly... I made it... Mine was about four to five centimetres, uh, roughly. Um, and yes, <laughs> or thank you, <laughs> um, or the template is on the back page. Yeah, so it's I was right. It's about three to four centimeters. Yeah, the template's in the back page. Um, uh, makers have made three bodies so far. Just lightly pop the heads on to want to get all the core head and torsos done together, so the same shape and size. Yeah, absolutely. Um, before you move on to the legs yeah good good tip if you're making a lot of things it is handy to make them all at once and then you can get them the same size especially if you do it for commissions if someone orders a ton they're never going to be the exact same size but if you make one and then go away and do something else and then make another it's going to be very different um chats jumping again um And Andrea, very true with the, the phone tip. Sometimes it's a good thing that no one can get a hold of you or get so many robocalls. Yeah, um, it it has been one one really nice thing with the lockdown, I have to say, is the spam emails and the, the robot phone calls. <laughs> yeah, the marketing phone calls, all of that are so, so, so much reduced. I hadn't realised until in the past couple of days the spam emails have increased such a lot. Um, I get people are wanting to make their money and stuff, but it was nice just being quiet. No phones ringing, only useful emails. Um, uh, my neck, neck stumps were too long, so as Steffi says in the instructions, I just cut them down. Yeah, the amazing thing with, with felt is you totally can do that. If something's too long cut it off um and then just just cover if like if the legs were too long i could just chop a bit off and then put a little bit of wool over the top to sort of hide hide the cut but yeah um felt is so so very forgiving so yeah if you've done it wrong cut it off <laughs> And Bonnie, yeah, um, some great advice from the makers. I think I might do that. Yes, absolutely. You're, you, you've never messed up with felting. Um, Faith, I'm currently making the head of the first one. Haven't messed up putting the entire 15 grams of the wool into the body. Still not a mess up. It's just bigger than it was supposed to be. Um, I still do have one kid singing two plain dress up and a whole lot more. <laughs> wow. Alicia, <laughs> it was horrible to watch her cut the dog, dog's neck off. <laughs> oh, I get they must have done it on a live stream that I missed. I, ugh, I'm still so behind on catching up with everything. Yeah, I did. Um, I, it's always horses with me, and I always mess up the proportion of the bodies to the legs, and I have to cut them right in the middle, make them wider. <laughs> I every time with a horse I don't know what it is with me and horses I will have to make some more <laughs> um, but yeah we're nearly done it's looking so cute <sighs> such dumpy little legs I probably made them too big but I think it's super cute um, Rosani the short legged doggies are so cute they are indeed I completely agree <laughs> And Jackie love those dogs. Yay. Love all dogs. Yay. Oh, Steffi's make, made the wolf on Friday for the October box. Really love her. Oh, Howling She Wolf. Oh, looking forward to it. Poster on Kirst, posted her on Kirsty's handmade fan page and got over 500 likes. Fantastic. That's great. <laughs> and yeah, Alicia. Oh, Steffi, you're teasing us. Absolutely. 
I'm really looking forward to the wolf. Um, oh, you see, um, wolf for October. I love you. It's my birthday mo month, and I love wolves. There you go, just for you. <laughs> um, oh, Bonnie's seen the wolf. She saw the wolf, and I was in love. So happy when I saw it for the October subscription. Yeah, it's gonna be a good one. Um, and Steffi's seen Jackie's wire hair. Cool, and the wolf looks stunning. This day in um, Alicia Steffi link the group please <laughs> yep good call um, here's the group where she pasted awesome so everyone go and have a look at this wolf I'm super looking forward to it um, Andrea is saying this is looking like a dash hound now it, it's getting there a little bit more I think it's going to be a baby dash hound because the, the legs are quite quite chunky <laughs> So we're going to, mine's a puppy, decided that. A very big puppy. Um, oh, Steffi's saying it's your birthday month as well. Yours is the 23rd of October. Yeah, awesome. Cool, we'll have to remember that. Right here. Okay, that needs a bit more firming up, but so far, I think, I think we're going to stop for today. That's a pretty good start. Um, yeah, it's looking super cute. Um, I want to firm those legs on more. I'll probably even make them a little bit shorter. I just wanted to make sure that the back legs were long enough with the front coming off from a big chest. Um, they would seem a little bit long. Oh, it stands. Yay. <laughs> so, right, go bigger. Go, go full face. So... This is where he's at so far. <laughs> Rather cute. And we'll get on to finishing him up next week. And I might even have three needles in the three needle tool. I'm so happy that I managed to get two. And I think that is going to become my favourite tool from now on. Because I was expecting... C confessions. I was totally expecting to get this tool and have a little play but then just say look I'm going to make the dog with the needles that I'm used to and I'll practice with this and get good at it later but now that's been really comfortable to use and for anyone who's felting any kind of holder because I used to felt just using the needles which you totally can but I got a lot of RSI in my wrist and my hands hurt a lot and when I switched to using needle holders it made such a difference it took a minute to get used to them because it's a bit longer um, so because this is a bit thicker too I think that will help me out so yeah don't forget you can get all this stuff from the makers I didn't purchase this because they're lovely people um, but I, I haven't looked at the price but I will say it's been it's been enjoyable to use so far um, so that was cool uh, right let's final look at the chat and then I will say goodbye um, here are we uh, Faith she's October as well the 6th that's going to be some party lots of Scorpios here um, a November Scorpio as well um, Alicia uh, oh, Diane's first time I've joined you oh thank you so much for joining it's been good to have you it's been good to have everyone thank you uh, Alicia need to get the cards ready for October exactly it's going to be some celebration uh, Steffi saying makes you feel better there are others with October birthdays always m mourn the summer and find her just to the months of autumnal we weather oh no I see if we get in that I love an Indian summer I always we haven't had so many or maybe I lived further down south when I was a kid but I used to love that because when it's nice and warm in autumn and you can smell like the plums on the trees and you know it, it's all oh, it's lovely um, and you're also starting to look forward to Halloween which was always magical um, Lisa oh you turned 25 <laughs> you turned <laughs> right you turned 25 plus 16 on Thursday gone happy birthday <laughs> oh Lisa it's your first time here too thank you thank you so much for joining me Alicia it's good socially distanced chat time absolutely it's a way to hang out and I do you, you guys have kept me sane-ish um Helen oh thank you so much a really fab demo thank you uh Lisa been fun today I agree yes everybody thank you so much you guys in the chat make it so much easier 
because otherwise I run out of things to say and it's really awkward. Um, <laughs> uh, Betsy, thanks, this was fun. Still waiting for your box, but it takes a while to get to the USA. Yeah, shipping might be a little bit slow just now. I've found sending stuff to the USA, I've had, during this time of crisisness, I've had some dogs get there in six days, some dogs took about three weeks, so it's variable just now. Lily, thank you so much. I look forward to your chain mail video. So everybody, <laughs> pop over to Lily's and check out her video. Southpaw, this was fun. Thank you. It was indeed. Um, Bonnie, been wonderful getting to know everyone. I know, it's fun to have a community, isn't it? Faith, um, thank you much. It's always a pleasure to see you making the same kit as me. Yeah, that's a kind of cool thing, isn't it? It's It's something special that YouTube gives us. Uh, Erica, thanks again. Until next week. Yep. <laughs> Lisa, yeah, it was 41 in total. Yeah, we can do the maths. I'm sorry. You, hey, you're still younger than me, so you you win there. <laughs> um, Rosani, had fun. Puppies off to a great start. Thank you so much. Take care, everyone. It's good to see you all. Thanks for keeping us imp inspired. Thank you, Alicia. Oh, we appreciate you, Pam. Thank you so much. Um, Lisa went, got sunburned in October, went home to Tor Turkey for a week. I actually once got sunburned in January in Scotland. Might have been sunburned, might have been kind of wind blasted, but my skin went a bit pink. <laughs> Oh, Ste Steffi, thank you so much. You guys, actually, you guys come up with the kits. I'm just, I'm using you for content. It's all good. <laughs> no, I enjoy the chance to have little flights of fancy here. It's great. Uh, Sophie, thank you as well. Awesome. Uh, Lisa, look forward to next week. Maybe I'll stab along too. Cool. Oh, G Morgan, you just caught the goodbyes. <laughs> good to see you. And yeah, you can catch the replay. Little bird by hello there. Um enjoyed listening while I worked. Awesome. I love I love to think of that. There's so much craftiness going on. Right, so now I will leave you to it. I will do the end the stream and do the awkward silency bit for a minute. So yeah. <laughs>